So the product, that is, when we start with that vector A, we are rotating by minus 5, you can do a picture also and fix the equals. So this is our x, y, z system. The pictures, of course, have to be drawn correctly, otherwise it will be So basically, what I am trying to say is, this is the vector here which is making an angle vector, and I say this projection is making an angle 5. So the first rotation is rotate by z axis by minus 5. So this vector will now go to the xz plane. Right? We got the xyz plane here. Right now the projection is on this particular x in the xy plane is making an angle 5 here. So when you rotate by minus 5, this line will come, the projection will come. Which means this vector is now brought to the xz. This is what this is. And then rotate by minus theta. This was making an angle theta, so rotate by minus theta. So it goes back. This is just what is expected. That is how this transformation is designed. So now we multiply this one, sin theta cos theta minus sin theta cos theta. So this is 0. So you should get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 cos theta, 1. So after these two operations, whatever be the a, we have to take to 0, 0, 1, z axis. And let's write it over here.
So this is equivalent to a combined rotation by theta prime minus theta. So that means now we have this scheme. With all the discussion, we have started the reverse of theta prime minus theta. So rotate A with respect to the z-axis by minus one. Then rotate with respect to y-axis by theta prime minus theta, and then rotate it by z with respect to phi prime rho rho prime theta. So three rotations. Even though I used four of them, I showed that there is equal to three rotations. So by having three successive rotations in a very specific way, we are able to go from theta. Now that is the active rotation. So what will be the passive rotation? Let us discuss that one now.
minor angle phi with respect to the same axis. So rotate x, y, z with respect to z or phi. So the axis of rotation is set. That means circle remain unaltered, x and y don't change. So let's say that this basically the net result is like you go from x, y, z to some new coordinates x1, y1, z1, of course z1 is in case. So if you want to have a little picture, it will be like this. This is our x, y, z. We are rotating with respect to z by an angle of 5. So that means this will get more. So this is our x1 axis, this is our y1 axis. And this of course is equal to z. So we have implemented a rotation in the x-y plane. So we have a new axis here, x1, y1, and z1. Perfect. Next, what are we doing? Next, we are going to rotate with respect to y. So this time it is now clear that we have already changed the axis here. So this rotation is now with respect to the y1 axis. Oh, the new y1. New y, this with respect to the new y axis. So rotation with respect to new y axis. So that means now this x1, y1, z1, this will now go to some x2, y2, z. Of course, y2 will be equal to y1 because the rotation is with respect to y axis. Y will not change. Now, the last part. Rotation with respect to new z axis. So that means this goes to some new system x3, y3, and z3. Of course, z3 is new. But this is what we are calling as want to have as expand by the z. So we have got three different coordinate systems x, y, z, x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z1. Intermediate to reaching x prime by the Now to so this scheme is called the Z Y Z scheme. It is essentially rotation is with respect to the Z axis, new Y axis, new Z axis. This was easy to visualize than to this. Is that the reason why you picked that question? Yes. Now If you want to do the same thing, okay, that I am not going to work out in detail and we give it as an exercise here. Yeah. Because as far as Goldstein is concerned, this is not the scheme used. The scheme used is something different. So let me see what are the possibilities. Likewise, when we start here, this will also value 2. 
having chosen x, and z is the last one here, this is to be either x or So that means if I start with an x rotation, still you are left with four different ways of achieving the task. Is there any doubt? You take any operator, you start on the right side. Hmm? Which one are you doing? That's what I said. Okay. That is okay. Okay, that's why I'm saying that I cannot write from uh, left to right. I mean, I'm mean, used to writing from right to left. Okay, so you understand what I mean. First calculation x, then the next x. That's what I'm writing here. Okay. Or we could write it the other way also. Okay, for, you know, uh, what do you say? Rigor, yes, we will write it in that particular way. So, for example, you're writing a notes or something like that. But you understand what I'm saying, right? So if that is the case, I could have started with y or z. That's the first one. Each one of them can be completed in four different ways. That means three to four. There are 12 different ways of achieving that. This is, of course, discussed in the gold standard also. Gold standard uses only this one. Uh, z, x, z. Of course, the beauty of this is that whether I write from left to right or right to left, <laughs> it doesn't give to any problem, it's the same thing. Z axis first, x axis and z axis first. This is what goes to But you can have 11 other schemes, all of them. So what I have done was simply to use this one and use another one. I found z, y, z was easiest to divide. Let me tell you, for example, x z x, no, z x z what we should do. So for z x z t, this is what. Anyway, the number of tries you have to make is not much. So do this way, you can do it as an exercise. So I'll just follow the exactly the same steps here. Start with A, give a rotation with respect to the axis point, point by two points. You don't have to work it out. I mean, we all have rotation, time, energy. Yeah, I can work it out. Okay, then let's do that. Then we have to multiply with z and 
with respect to the z axis. First term that should be coming here should be cosine of the angle. Cosine pi by 2 minus 3. How much is that? Mm, sin pi. Sin pi. No doubt. Next should be minus sin this one. So how much that will be? Minus sin pi by 2 minus. Minus cos. Generate rotations with respect to x, y, 
this part we just require. So if you want to have a rotation implemented by in a certain direction, exponential growth, some higher will less case, theta x times nx by This particular one would correspond to the rotation operator corresponds to rotating with respect to the exact So if you're looking at uh, this particle physics part, the first thing we have to do is isotropy of space. X, Y, Z are all so, there is no preferred direction. All directions are required. So, rotation with respect to Y is no particular reason. So, that is an intermediate step that comes in the time. What I am saying is, you are having multiple, multiple possibilities. Yeah. When you have a multiple possibilities, no? you say we all designed to work on Actually, for us, there are only 12 possibilities. But let us say that the small gathering, Decide to work, each person randomly chooses a method and works here. Then to understand what you have said, I have to anyway learn what you have done. Right? So if I have to look at what you have done, I have to learn all the 12 methods. Okay? I don't learn anything new by learning, I mean, using more than one particular scheme because every method is equivalent to the other. Okay? So it means no comparison of the results obtained by different people would be easily possible if you do not follow a convention. So that's how conventions start setting in into a particular area. So because multiple choices are possible, I said the seminal paper it comes with uh, let's say uh, the scheme Z Y Z. Then others would rather use that one. Okay, of course there can be skeptics who can say, yeah, what might happen in case I rotate with respect to X? You would find that if all our calculations are perfect, the ultimate physical result should not have any bearing on the intermediate steps of the calculation. And there could be multiple ways of solving the very same problem. So that's my answer to that particular question. In the context of quantum mechanics, yes. You will find that in many cases, people will be using a similarity transformation, something else. If you have an operator over here, you will have some S S Actually, you put it as U and U diagram here. And here is U, the U or the NY. That is, in case you are doing problems in relation to angular momentum. If you are doing in spin space, that will be corresponding uh, sigma y. In fact, that is the part I will deal with at the end also. So, do you have some feel for what the Euler angle is? So, this is something which will be very much necessary when you want to use this for solving dynamic So far, we have not come to the dynamic problem. We are only talking about just the description of the states of uh, a rigid body, how to describe rotation, how to go from one coordinate system to another. <coughs> so next